Tomorrow is the August 2020 crypto giveaway video. Not this video, but tomorrow's video. Make sure that you drop a comment there so that you can put yourself in line to win over 3,200 rands worth of prizes. Good morning, everybody. Now, every month, Altcoin Trader hosts a crypto giveaway. And the reason for this giveaway is to spread the word about crypto and to get people excited. And hey, yeah, it's just fun to give away free stuff on YouTube. Now, guys, a couple of things about this crypto giveaway. We've got four prizes. Whoever drops the first comment will get 1,000 rands worth of free crypto. And then we have three random draws, 500, 700, and 1,000 rand. So make sure that in tomorrow's video, which will come out anytime between 5 a.m. and 12 p.m., you make a, drop a comment on that video, and then we will have the draw the following day to announce the winners. Just a couple of things. Altcoin Trader, because they are sponsoring this, will have the final say in the event of a dispute. If you win or you are a winner, you'll be able to choose from any of the cryptocurrencies that is available on Altcoin Trader. As you know, there's over 20 different cryptocurrencies, so you certainly will be spoiled for choice. Now, make sure to spread this video. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell people that would normally not be involved in crypto to get involved and to have a look at this crypto giveaway and that might just spark their excitement and get them looking at the wonderful world of crypto and this alternative financial system that we have okay enough about the crypto giveaway tomorrow make sure that you tune in and leave a comment uh, last thing make sure that you leave your address in the comments so that we can actually pay into that address. It's swift, it's quick, it's done on the blockchain. Everyone can see that you are paid. If you don't leave your address, we will expect you to put a follow-up comment on YouTube with the same channel ID to avoid scammers from taking your money with your address so that we can make that deposit into that address. Guys, as far as giveaways go in crypto, they are extremely risky. So make sure that you never participate in a giveaway where you are expected to give something first. So if someone asks you for to send coins so that you can get double back, it's a scam. Don't do it. As I said, crypto giveaways are risky. We do this every month because we believe that our audience is savvy and it is safe. And we can warn people about the scams out there. Just use common sense. If you are ever asked to give something first or something looks too good to be true and there's not a clear reason why people are giving it, doing a giveaway, don't get involved, just walk away, it's a scam. Don't depart or don't give away your valid crypto. Let's have a quick look at the markets. Now, I've chosen <clears throat> WorldCoin Index for this morning's video because they've got, they list their coins with the 24 hour volume traded. And as we can see, Ethereum is really going absolutely crazy. And it is the coin that has had the largest amount of volume traded over the last 24 hours. We've got Ethereum at 384 US dollars, which is really, really nice to see. Ethereum is, as I'm sure a lot of you know, going through a lot of problems. We're having huge, huge fees just to do simple transactions. But a lot of people saying this is a problem and we can't wait to get to Ethereum 2.0. And while that is all true, it still bears testament to the fact of how widely used the Ethereum network is. And I don't foresee this stopping in the near future. DeFi is taking off, it's exploding. As far as smart contracts go, Ethereum is the leader. There's more developers on the Ethereum network than on any other smart contract platform. And hence, we are having to suffer with huge fees, sometimes paying $15, $20 to get a smart contract to execute the, the lines of code. Obviously, it's a lot less for a simple transaction where you're sending um, money or tokens from one address to the other. But this is indicative of the success that Ethereum is having. We're hoping for Ethereum 2.0, we will be able to stake. We'll have a lot better scalability and we will see a further explosion in the current DeFi space. Bitcoin doing very very well i mean i think the last time i made a video bitcoin was around about nine thousand us dollars per coin 
Just like that, within a week, we're at 11,000. In fact, over 11,000. Briefly touching on the 12,000 mark and then having a dramatic retracement. But it is the start of a bull run. A lot of people are confirming that it's a start of a bull run. It's crypto. Who knows for sure? I'm just very pleased that I have a position in crypto, in uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum especially. And if we had to see a dip, of course, we would always be able to take a DeFi loan to buy the coins. So I no longer hold my position in cash. I simply have a, a position in either Bitcoin or Ethereum, knowing that I can loan against these coins if I needed to buy more. Then the final topic that I wanted to discuss this morning is Altcoin Daily have been removed from YouTube, which I think is absolutely absurd. Altcoin Trader, I don't know if there's a lot, Alt, Altcoin Daily, sorry, is a, it's two brothers, they're twin brothers, and they work really, really hard to bring us news in the crypto space. These guys, I listen to their channel often, I've been listening to their channel for years, and they are really, really dedicated, hard workers, and the crypto community love them. I watch them. They bring us a lot of news. They spend a lot of time and work really hard. Now, we've got YouTube that just simply wipes them out. Within a day, no warning, they're gone. Claiming that they're encouraging illegal activities. That is ridiculous, guys. I don't have any facts. I don't know what actually happened behind the scenes. I'm sure we will find out what happened behind the scenes in due course. But in my opinion, because I say I almost know these guys, or at least I feel like I know them, they have never indulged or encouraged illegal activities, and they wouldn't do so. It is just simply, simply ridiculous. I don't know how this happens on YouTube. Is it just a clock that gets a complaint? He doesn't know the first thing about Bitcoin, just goes there, clicks a button, whack, their channel is gone. It seems absurd that YouTube can actually do something like this. I'm going to send off a tweet, tweet to at Team YouTube and say, like, what are you guys doing? These are, this is a wholesome channel. These are hardworking individuals that are so self-regulated. I mean, these guys, they only do what's good for the community. They only report on news. They're constantly advising against scams. They're constantly giving people um, the do's and don'ts and saying, guys, we're not financial advisors. They really tick any every box. They are wholesome, wholesome team of brothers that are bringing us the news. And the only thing that I've got to say about this YouTube, your platform is much poorer this morning because you have taken off Altcoin Daily. Guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. For the crypto giveaway, make sure you drop a comment in tomorrow's video and we will be giving 30% extra if you claim your crypto in XR, the South African stable coin that can be used on Altcoin Trader, but it also can be used on Uniswap or Balancer. That's it from me. I'm out.